Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the Blackjack 42 out here at the Park Pine. We're going to be testing out the ultimate electronics package on this boat. I put a Castle Creations Hydra and a TP Power 4070 V1 1520 KV. Okay, going to be running some 6300 SMC DV Extreme 135 C's first, 6500 150 C's next, and uh Octura 645 just to kind of feel the boat out see where the boats at I'm at the park pond not my first choice But I'm actually it's actually actually a good choice to kind of make sure there's no water in the boat Check temps kind of do a couple prop changes and uh, just feel out my new electronics. Okay uh, I, I actually have the v2 SRDs charged up, but uh, I don't think we'll run them I was planning on going to the speed run spot, but it's like blowing again so we'll stick around. Big B, Ryan Clad RC. This this electronics package is not for everybody. It's damn near the, the price of the boat, like ready to run. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I basically put this in my boat for speed runs. Okay, now this is not gonna be a basher setup. Well, it, it could be, it could be. It possibly could be, but I think I need to go, I would need to go down in KV a little bit more to make it a good basher setup with like, with like a big prop and it be like reliable. Um, with the 1520 KV, it's 150, 200 KV higher than the stock KV. So I'm kind of pushing the envelope. So, um, well, let's find out. Let's find out. I got the GPS in there taped up. I need to check for water leaks, you know. This is what I do with all my boats. I run them here because at the this, at, this, at the speed run spot, it's, it's brackish water. So I uh, I kind of run them here. I fill them out. I tune them here at the park pond. I get them ready. I got about four boats ready for the freaking speed run spot. All right, here we go. Uh, like I said, this is not my first rip, but it's like my it's going to be my first time running the boat. Like the whole pack, uh, we just did two passes and it looked good. So uh, let's get it. Yes, sir. I've never run this prop on the boat, and uh, it, it, it kind of seems like it's a good prop. Let me check the camera, make sure you guys are zoomed in. Yeah, it kind of seems like a good prop, this Octura 645. All right, I'm gonna do one more pass. We're gonna check temps. Actually, maybe two more passes. Wow. Yeah, one more pass, we'll check temps. Anytime you put new electronics in your boat, uh, you know, keep an eye on the electronics. Check your temps every minute or two especially putting new props on the boat like i am i've never run this prop just make sure you check everything temps and everything oh she wanted to pick up props got a little bit of lift okay 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 No smoke, no smoke, no smoke. Come on, baby. Be ironclad for Big Daddy B. Be ironclad for Big Daddy B, baby. Come on, baby. Where's the freaking GPS at? Check him because I get the GPS in a minute. Oh, yes, 101, 104, 101, 96, 87 on the ESC, wires, 109, 108, 101, ESC motor wires, 93, 85, 107. So I actually, um, what I actually. I put this long jacket on. The motor come with a short jacket, so if you guys are getting this motor, I would recommend putting the long jacket on, not the short jacket. Damn! 
Doom 68 in the little pond. <laughs> Doom! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything looks good. All my worrying. All my freaking hard thinking and calculating and 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 all oh, it looks like it's paying off man oh yes let me check the battery voltage because i did kind of do two rips be before this video getting the dominator so let me just check these real quick see what kind of discharge and and, and load this thing's carrying here okay so 15.4 388 388 389 so they're basically discharged i'm going to go ahead throw it in the water get two more runs in i'm not going to tape it up uh we got enough for a couple more runs not completely discharge oh that looks sweet man that prop seems to be pretty good on here 645 that prop there is a good prop on the on the sonic wake too uh with an upgraded power system great prop Oh wow, I got 100% steering trim to the left. 100% <laughs> to the left, so it's still wanting to veer. So I need to actually move my rudder linkage on the on the easy connector. Okay. Yeah. I uh, hadn't run this boat in a couple months. I uh, I took the original XLX2 out, put it in my UL19. So uh, just filling her out. Whew, whew, my heart's beating. I'm so I'm so freaking excited, man. I could have got a uh, a whole another boat for what I got in this ESC. I could have got a whole another freaking ready to run. But uh, you know, like I, I was thinking about getting that UDI Arrow because I had a few guys wanting me to get it. And, a, and an upgrade motor and ESC for it, you know? And I was like, man, I've been wanting this freaking setup for so long, you guys. So I, I went ahead and got it, you know? We got our tax money in. My wife got, we got a new truck. She let me splurge a little bit, you know? We'll try to... She's wanting to like chine walk with this prop. I didn't even think a freaking catamaran could chine walk got a lot that motor's got a lot of torque it feels like you know man that is so freaking pretty boy drifting drifting <laughs> all right our battery's discharged so we're gonna check the temps again change the battery out put those brand new 6500s in Okay, the brand new 6500s, and see where she's at with them bad boys. Oh, man. So, you know, I love, I love upgrading my freaking boats, man. I love little boats. I, you know, it's something about these little boats, 104. Everything's good. Everything's good. Oh, man. Something about these little boats just freaking gets me off, you guys. Oh, man, I love little boats. I just can't lie. <laughs> Oh boy. Yep, 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 yep. I've said this in the past, and uh, I'm gonna say it again for those of you new. You know, getting a new boat, it's awesome. You know, the feeling you get when you get a new boat and seeing it on the water, that's awesome. But there's something about, you know, building a boat. Like, whether it's like a ready to run like this or a hole in hardware like the dominator there's something about just picking out electronics uh picking out the kv picking out the propellers the esc to to go with it and once you get your boat set up get it running and and it's actually running right you can run the props that you want to run on the boat there there's no other you know there's nothing like it there's nothing like it you know because uh a lot of people they you know they 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 take they think that uh you know power in a boat it's you know easy oh you just pick a motor out and uh it's done you know but it's not it's not it's a lot it's a lot more to it and those of you who are in the hobby you know you know you know it's more than just 
picking out a, a KV you think is going to be good. You got to really put some thought into it. You got to do some research, you know. Uh, look on forums and stuff. Like this boat right here, there's nobody upgrading the electronics in this boat that I could find. And I, you know, I looked, I looked around. I'm not even going to lie. I looked around and see if anybody's putting any, any upgrade electronics in this boat. And I, I didn't see any. I didn't see any information or anybody doing it. So basically... I kind of, you know, I went with this higher KV motor, kind of took a shot in the dark. Uh, with the previous TP power, I'm going to run my batteries a little farther back this time. With the previous TP power motor, I ran in this boat. And a lot of you guys don't know this because I, I didn't tell you. That motor was a TP power CM, 1900 KV CM motor. And I have the, the sister motor, the 1900 KV V1 motor in my ul19 now that c 1900 kv cm motor it man i wish that water cooling line wouldn't have blew off because that would have really told me where that motor was at in this boat with this esc in a in a decent size prop so uh so i kind of took that information from blowing up that that 1900 kv motor it actually got the boat up on plane and we did 106 mile an hour with that motor but I don't know if it was the heat, you know, it burned up from the the run, or I don't know, you know, or if it was the water cooling. So, you know, I took that info that I got from burning up my my my, my CM motor, and I put it into the thought process in picking out this motor. And you know, I was going to go 1400 kV. That's a 10s motor. That's only 50 more kv than a stock motor but um i went with the 1520 and i was kind of like oh i was kind of like up in the air about it let's see what that last run got damn 68 what we did before that 68 with that last run jeez i think it was what 67 damn that's freaking awesome stop record this is the 6500s we had the 6300s in this is 135 c these are 150 c so we should we should pick up a, a mile an hour or so in this little pond. We run out of runway real quick. I use this pond to test my boats in. I don't, like, it's not my speed run, run spot, you know? So uh, I actually use silicone cooling line on my on my wires right here. That actually looks really cool and it works. I, uh, I tried catching one of those silicone tubes on fire with my blowtorch and they actually dissipate heat good and they don't melt or anything. So that's something for you guys to keep in mind. We got the GPS cleared out. She's on. Let's check. We got power here. I really want to throw another prop on, but I'm not. I'm just going to kind of run this prop. We'll we'll try another prop at the speed run spot. This prop's doing pretty good for this pond. So I'm going to kind of run the whole pack. Now that I kind of got a feeling, a baseline with this prop on the boat, we're going to go ahead and run the whole pack out. Sorry I'm talking so much, you guys. Uh, I've been trying to make some short videos. Uh, I guess this one's going to be long because we're running two packs in here. And I'm kind of jacking my jaws, kind of going over my thought process, picking out this motor. Yeah, I was real worried about it, man. Going higher KV because that's 150 bucks. If it burns up, that's $150 burning up. You know, that CM motor that burned up previous, uh, I, it, it took one for the team. I've had that motor for a couple years. I got my money's worth out of it. But uh, I hate to burn this one up right off the get, you know. All right, I love this boat. I ain't even going. I ain't gonna lie, man. Now that's a drag boat. This one's faster than the drag boat in here. That's hard to beat. now this the stock motor the damn motor the motor don't even need to be changed out you guys if y'all put the xlx2 in this boat with the stock motor you're gonna have a ball set up man i'm not even kidding you can run with the xlx2 in this boat the stock motor you can run 50 51 52 millimeter props with no problem you don't even need to change the motor out i've been like trying to I, I mean, you guys know me. XLX2 in this boat's awesome. Stock motor. 
thing's fast as all get out. I cannot wait to get this thing to the speed run spot. I got my computer in the freaking shop so they could clean it out so I could put the damn load, the damn castle link on my computer for this thing. Gee. Oh man, 60 knots and no smoke, baby. Hell, a couple more mile an hour, I'd had I'll have, I'll have 70 mile an hour in this little short pond. <laughs> Pin. All right, let's check it. Let's check it. That's uh. <laughs> let's see if we got 70. I felt like I freaking held it there for a second. <laughs> oh shit, boy. Oh man, I'm having too much fun, you guys. All right, that was like five five passes back to back. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see if old Pete the Magic Dragon's in here. Yes! <laughs> 72! 72 miles an hour in the small pond, huh? <laughs> Holy freaking shit, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm tickled to death, boy. You're tickled to death. 72 in the little pond. <laughs> hell, hell. 73 was my PB with the whole stock boat for like a whole year, man. I, hell, it took an act of Congress trying to get 74. Jeez. 99. One of, so this side of the speed control is really hot. Check this out. So this side, 103, it was 120 a while ago, 195. 77 on this side where the ESC wires are, and that's good. 93 I got the extra large nipples on here. It comes with two different nipples to see how this side's hotter 93 this side here 76 Okay Motor 99 102. Let's check the voltage real quick. Cause uh, this thing's probably Discharging a battery please So I probably need to go ahead and just throw those freaking V2 batteries in here discharge them i was just going to discharge them on my charger but discharging a lipo those big lipos oh man my little balance wire just come out let's see what it is okay so we got some more my balance wire just come out of there oh that's going to be a pain in the ass to get back in get back in there all right all right all right all right let's get back at it i'm not going to tape it up let's get the 72 knocked off in freaking sane insane 72 that is my pb in this park pond i uh i think i got seven if i remember right 71 was my old pb in the park pond with the velez after i had done my first blueprint on it 71 73 is the new pb yes sir yes sir get back in there ding 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 I'm pushing it. If I try any harder than that, I'm going to freaking, I'll end up in the bushes over there. <laughs> you know, like my old Sonic Wake. I wish I still had that video clip. I wish I still had that video clip of my Sonic Wake going airborne into the bushes. That's a good prop on this boat. That is a good prop on this boat, man. That 645 is getting off. Oh man, I recommend that prop. 72? Yes, sir. So I got that Oxteen 48 1.8 that I tried out on my Delta Force the other day. We're gonna put that on here at the speedrun spot. This pond's not big enough for that big prop. It's got too much pitch. It needs a big long runway to get up to speed. That prop there's got a little bit more lift than the ABC props I've got the boat tuned for. That's why it's kind of going crazy on us, you know. A little bit more lift than the boat's used to. Whoa! Golly. Yep, this is my favorite one. And uh Probo actually has some new models coming out this year that I think you guys are gonna like. I got, I got the inside scoop. <laughs> I think you're gonna like them, boys. 
Yes, sir. I can't say no more. Sign a non-disclosure. <laughs> Man, the temps are nice and cool. We're at 45, that's good. I know a lot of you guys just got this boat and uh you know you got you got you something special. That's all I can say, man. Y'all y'all start running that boat, y'all start getting it tuned in so it don't flip every time, you're gonna love it. Which is let me let me actually I had some, I had some guys uh, asking about my setup. That was a nice parking job, huh? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you guys my setup real quick, cause like I said, a few guys have got this boat. I know a couple of you actually have some trim tabs coming, and um, I found. I don't know if I have anything long enough. Jeez, I don't. Oh, it's not quite long enough. I've had two of these holes. So I've had two of these holes. My first hole, I mounted my trim tab basically in line with the bottom of the boat, okay? And uh, it, it didn't really, I mean, it did good, but I didn't like it. So I, on my first hole, I actually moved them up two millimeters. And uh, it did good. I was getting some high numbers. The new hole, I went ahead and mounted my trim tabs. Four, I actually, I used my caliper today because I had somebody comment about it. They're exactly exactly four millimeters higher than the ride surface and and i actually have some dead rise on it okay i've got the inside three millimeters the outside is four millimeters on both of them identical angle so that's that basically if i had to do it all over again i would actually go up another millimeter okay it's basically a, a second step or well you got one two it's like a third step on your ride surface it breaks the surface tension not so much uh surface area in contact with the water with your with your trim tabs raised up like this okay so i uh, just wanted to go over that with you guys i run a flat bottom large strut okay i had to do a lot of modifications to get it to work in line with the bottom a little bit of down angle to help hold the boat down in a in a straight and I actually usually I try to run some cant forward on my rudder that helps keep the bow down so uh, let's see what we did there real quick real quick with a discharged battery I'll let you guys go I, I, I like I said this is uh the ultimate the ultimate electronics package for this boat right here and it seems like the the KV is is a good 72 again it wasn't a fluke it seems like the electronics package is good let's check it now after i was bashing it 134 140 that's the highest it's been all day so i can bash this boat with this setup that's what i was worried about i was saying it was a speed run setup but uh it looks like we can well, it looks like we'll be able to bash it a little bit with the right size prop i could deal with that yes sir let yes. you guys go i think it's a great setup uh, if you want a little more reliable setup, go down to 1400 or even 1100. You know, you'll be able to turn some big props. I didn't want to have to buy a whole bunch of new props with a low KV motor. I wanted to try to use the props I have, get a little bit higher KV so I can push the props I got harder type deal. So uh, I think it's an awesome setup. We'll see you guys next time. Big B. We're down RC.